Hey guys, um, I'm doing a slightly different format of video this week and <laughs> the biggest reason is because I am so busy, so, so busy um, with my design projects and also some other kind of personal favors that I'm doing for friends who have exciting things going on in their lives. Um, it's been a really insane week. <laughs> but I love you guys. I do not want to neglect you. And I do have something very interesting to share with you today. Um, what I'm going to do is an update on my Schifflera or umbrella tree, which you may have seen me prune back severely um, in a previous video. I actually defoliated it. It was so scary, um, but I did it. And um, now I'm ready to show you the amazing results. So come with me. Brittany, you want to come? Okay, let's go. These were completely bare on top after I removed the leaves. <gasps> and look at that. Plus a little baby leaf down here. Look at that little latent bud. I mean, this leaf probably grew on this plant 10 years ago and that bud stayed active, which is just amazing to me. Um, it continued to grow and 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 grow until finally I ripped all of its leaves off this year. But look what happened. I mean, now I have two grow tips on this. It's pretty amazing. This was completely devoid of leaves. Three months ago maybe. Something really important that I read while researching this defoliation technique is that you should only do this maximum once a year to your plant and only if it's very healthy. So definitely don't um, you know do it every three months. I'm not suggesting that. That would be awful. Just be nice to your plants you know. Be nice to them but also massacre them. That makes sense right? The reason that I removed the leaves from these Schifleras is because they were infected with scale, which is a very common houseplant pest. Don't do this to just any plant. Every plant is different. And this particular species can be treated this way. Um, so use this advice for Schifleras only. If you have questions about defoliating in any other type of plant, you can send them my way. And I'm actually pretty interested in this right now. Uh, I, I would love to address and research other plants. So if there's some in particular that you guys have questions about, um, let me know and uh, I'll get on it. This is a whole other realm of plant knowledge that's pretty interesting to me because it's very, it's very interesting to see how plants react when they're put under stress. And obviously when you're removing all the leaves from a plant, it's very stressful for them, but they do incredible things in response. And uh, I think that, you know, for a lot of people, if you're not into vegetable gardening or, you know, because it's fall, this is the type of thing that, the type of experiment that you can do and see what happens. And that's the greatest thing about plants is that they are resilient and they are forgiving for the most part. I know some of you guys kill a lot of plants, but you know, you're getting there. You're getting there. You're learning. You're tuning in every week, right? Right, right? <laughs> and you're learning. So here's another tidbit for you. Thanks so much for being understanding about this week's very strange format. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward in the future to showing you so much more about my design life um, because that's really what's been taking up so much of my time and I'm working on a giant project in Colorado and a, a couple of projects here in Hollywood that are very large. One is a hotel. Um, it's been a dream come true, but I definitely am short on time right now. And in an effort to keep everything going, I have resorted this week to using my iPhone. <laughs> and, uh, and I love you guys for still tuning in and supporting me. Um, okay, guys, you guys have a great week. Go out there, massacre some of your house plants. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> and uh, remember to like and subscribe. I love you. Mwah. Her. Should I? Should I? You need a cocoon. Oh, she's so fat. <laughs> You're so fluffy.